Yo, what is up chat? So today we're talking about this garbage Bedwars update and hopefully my dog doesn't pee everywhere. But we're talking about this update and not that it's garbage, but it's not the greatest thing they've ever done. And it's definitely not making the game any better. <laughs> Overall, my opinion is, I'm already gonna tell you, it's not balanced at all, but it definitely has some pros and it definitely has some cons. And I've looked at a bunch of forums and what people are saying and all this stuff. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of glue all their opinions into my own opinion. Um, Not to say I'm some high level pro player, but I've been playing this game since it came out and a little bit beforehand. I used to main Sky Wars and Bed Wars came out and I played that a bunch, but you know, I jumped off the game, Fortnite became a thing, COVID became a thing. So you know, every little once in a while I took breaks. But I've been playing this game since it came out and even before then. So if there's any reason to trust me, there's, there's my evidence of why you should trust anything I say. So one of the new things they changed was the queuing system. So when you join a Bed Wars lobby, you're gonna have hashes all over everybody's names and nobody's gonna have a skin. They're all gonna be Alex's or Steve's, depending on, you know, their skin. So already, this is gonna affect the player base and all of its community. So mainly, the only reason Hypixel did this was because they're trying to get rid of Q dodging and removing snipers and make the matchmaking more fair because, you know, not saying Hypixel as a whole is a business, but, I mean, the game's dying, so they wanna bring more new players and get beginners into the game. So they're trying to make it more fair for the beginner level, beginner level players to have a fair fight and, you know, actually enjoy the game to keep playing. Which in return, makes them more money. So obviously one of the first few pros of this update was that the lower star players will not just get absolutely demolished in the game and instantly want to quit and never trust the game ever again. They're improving matchmaking, they're getting rid of Q dodging, they're not allowing people to snipe, you know, so it's... And in a way, they're trying to make it easier for the uh, newer players to enjoy the game and actually get into it without, you know, it being so competitive and playing it more as like a casual game. It's super beneficial in a way that it means a star level 50 player isn't going to go up against the star level 1000 player that's getting his ego stroked in lobby 1 because a bunch of people were asking him to play and he decided he'd play a game or two casually and just is casually smoking the entire game. And obviously it lessens the ability to snipe uh, your favorite streamer or some guy that's really good or some guy that really sucks And it makes it really difficult because you can't find who they are or what their skin looks like because all of that's hidden now But I can already tell you that that's not gonna really work because people still have Overlays that track stats and I mean you're gonna open that up and instantly see somebody's stats So I mean it was a good idea, but it's not gonna work and to be honest That's the really only two pros I have I mean the rest of the rest of the thing Cody, bro. In a way that it's beneficial for the lower ranked players, it's also going to hurt the lower ranked players because they're not going up against people that are better than them with better ideas and better skill. They're going up against people that are, I mean, at most slightly better than them. But I mean, most of these players are going to either be day, I mean, if, if it's a day one player, they're going up against most likely another day one player. So they're both just as dumb. So they're not going to learn anything by just, you know, playing the same people with the same skill level. And on the other hand, I mean, this sounds stupid, but also high star players are gonna have to fight people their rank. Some people that are at the top play for fun, and other people are gonna take it seriously. So there's not, it's gonna be more competitive than it is casual, and people aren't gonna be able to play, be able to play the game for fun anymore. I believe personally that a lot of people play Bed Wars for fun. Bed Wars is made to be like a 3v3 or 4v4. It's made to be a team-based game. It's not meant to be solo. The people that play solo are the ones that are the competitive ones. A lot of people that play 3v3, I mean, if you're like me, you play 3v3 and 4v4 usually to have fun. I mean, I stream 4v4 and 3v3 Bed Wars a lot, and I, I have a lot of fun when I'm playing that. I'm not sweating my nuts off in game. It's just silly that they're putting in the hashes and all this stuff to refrain people from Q dodging and all this, but there's ranked bed wars. Like, there's there's ranked bed wars for a reason. There, there doesn't need to be that serious. They don't have to try to do all these things to prevent people from getting out of these sweaty lobbies, when if they wanted to be in sweaty lobbies, they'd go play ranked. <laughs> so now they're kind of making that decision for them. They're not allowing them to play casually. It's just, it's always gonna be competitive. There's not, you know, there's no more, there's no more casual unless they change something. Another thing is that there's a lot of closet cheaters. There's a lot of hackers, just like Sky Wars. There's going to be a lot more of those now because low level accounts are usually either day one players or hackers. And if you're putting these day one players up against hackers, it's going to defeat the entire purpose of this whole update because now these people that are just now getting the game because, oh, they saw a YouTuber play it or, oh, my friend recommended this to me. Now they're not going to want to play the game because it's just from their point of view, it's a whole bunch of cheaters, but they don't know 
that it's skill-based matchmaking, or if they do, it's gonna not, they're not gonna wanna play because it's just a bunch of hackers in their games. And that just contradicts the entire point of this whole update because they're gonna join the game, trying to get a feel for the game and see if they actually like it and enjoy it. And all they're gonna get is the feel of kill aura, reach, and no KB, and da da da. Another thing is that so many people have all accounts nowadays, especially on Hypixel, that all these high star, like lower level a thousand, or not even level a thousand, a lot of people that reach past like 500, they start buying alts because they get bored. And especially, like I said, the higher ranked players, they buy alts because they're bored. They don't want to play on their main. Or the people that have a super high win streak, they don't want to play, so they get on a lower ranked account. And this is it's the same thing. They're going to fight people that suck. And these sucky players aren't going to have fun because they're playing against people that are supposedly 50 stars, but they're really 1,000 stars, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's like 100 to 200 stars, thats I, I'm assuming that's average nowadays, is gonna have a way harder time to find a game rather than somebody who's 1,000 to 1,500 stars. And it all depends on the skill gaps, but the only way to increase the benefits of skill-based matchmaking is to lower the gaps in between star levels. So if you're taking a 50 stars all the way to 100 stars, and we'll say, we'll say okay, let's put these guys in a game, so, you can, if you're you're only getting lobbies between 50 and 100 stars, and then you got the high ranked games where it's like, okay, we'll put a thousand to 1,100 stars into a game. Boom, that's just gonna make the queue times insane. Like 30 minutes to an hour. I mean, it could eventually like if the game dies that much, that that's how long you can be waiting for a game, and that's just gonna kill the game eventually. And another thing, Hypixel, if you somehow find this MVP plus plus is not gonna get used. People are gonna stop buying it. I mean, if they're smart, you're joining games and your name's already nicked. You can't snipe as easy, and your skin's hidden. So it's kind of defeats the purpose of having MVP plus plus at that point. Because because that's the main thing is it's supposed to be like YouTube rank without having 10,000 subscribers or whatever it is nowadays. But the whole point of MVP++ when it came out was that you could nick, you could host your own games. I, I mean, you'll still have that aspect, so but that takes out a huge portion of it. the purpose of MVP++ was to be able to nick and stuff and have your own skins and whatnot. And... Bed Wars already taken away the nicking part. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to nick yourself. It's already part of the game now. So that that's that takes a lot of value out of MVP plus plus. If you want my overall honest opinion, I think this game, if High Pixel doesn't change anything, it's just gonna become Sky Wars. I mean, Sky Wars was an amazing game, and it still is. But there's so many closet cheaters. There's so many hackers in general. It makes the game so unplayable and nobody wants to play a game with a bunch of hackers so eventually everybody just quits. I mean the player base on Hypixel in general has gone way down and adding updates like this that are supposed to be smart and great and beneficial for the game are just killing it. They're just they're just not thinking of these things. Skywars died because of the insane amount of cheaters that were in the game and the closet hackers and all of this. And the top players that were playing the game, it wasn't even playable for them. And I mean, they're the best in the game. So if they're going to quit, lower ranked players are going to quit. And then next thing you know, the whole game's dead. The whole server's dead. Honestly, my own personal opinion. After reading all these forums, I think Hypixel just needs to revert it. I mean, there's good ideas, there's good intentions. But overall, there's more cons than there is pros. And it's just not going to go well for the game overall. It's just, it's going to kill it and people are already really upset. There's petitions out, all of this stuff. There's already, by the time I'm recording this, I'm pretty sure there's over 500 people saying to revert it versus like 100 saying to keep it. It's absolutely insane. Hypixel, if you're listening to any of your player base, you need to just rethink it at least. Maybe not revert it completely, but rethink it. Something needs to be changed. It's not gonna work out this way and you're gonna kill your game and you're, I mean, looking at it from a business side, you're gonna lose a lot of money and it's it's not beneficial either way. Yeah, anyways, there's my take on this whole thing. Uh, Hypixel, fix your game as always. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for 300 subs again. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, 1K coming soon. Appreciate you guys. See ya. <laughs> I hate this game, bro. I'm never playing Bedwars again.